friends, Sparkled here. We are in a castle called Stammerian Spills. The castle is very interesting. Now it belongs to the municipality and I think you will enjoy this film. The castle belonged to the von Wolf family. How it's connected with the Coral Castle which is located in Florida in the United States, I will tell you at the end of this film. Answering my question, what is the most interesting thing in the castle, the guide Inga said that the most interesting thing is that in this castle you can feel like a baron and baroness. You can go to the second floor, take a cup of coffee from which the baroness once drank, and drink coffee. Let's go! Here, in this room, you can choose a cup of the baroness that you like and fill it with coffee. Leave donations and enjoy the moment. Feel like a baron, a baroness. And it was there, in this room, we met the patron of the castle, Peter Langben from Germany. What is your name? Peter. But it's all the meubles, anything what to stay in this house, I bring. So it's your gift? Yes, uh, it's a hobby. It's a hobby? It's a nice, it's... and the tasks also, and the people say, oh, nice tasks, yes. <laughs> they are. Are you from here? Uh, Lincoln? Yes, yeah, Zeswein? Yeah, Zeswein? Yeah, da, I stay there, yeah, for three weeks I stay there. Oh, right. Good to, good to talk to you. I come every year for holiday here and look uh -huh. and bring something here. And you live where? From where you come? Metman, Deutschland. Germany. Germany. Uh -huh. Germany. Germany. All right. Nice to talk to you, Peter. Thank you. <laughs> The history of this castle began in 1902, when the von Wolf family became the owner of the territory on which the castle is located. In the 30s of the 19th century, the construction of the castle itself began. However, in 1905 the castle was burned down, and in 1908 Boris von Wolf rebuilt the castle in a slightly different style. There is a version that the castle was set on fire by Edward Lietzkalnic, a native of Stammerien, who built the Coral Castle on the Florida Peninsula near Miami. Latvian Edward Lietzkalnic built it in around 1920-40. One version is that it was a tribute to his bride, who remained at home, and another that he tried to escape from the Black Hundred for setting fire to the Stammerian castle. In the 1920s and 30s, Alexandra von Wolf lived in the castle from time to time with her second husband, the writer Giuseppe Tomasi de Lampedusa. Despite the fact that the castle was owned by her first husband, Andrei Walter Pilar von Pilhau.
After the Second World War, the castle housed an agricultural technical school, the office of the Stammerian State Farm, and the executive committee of the local council of deputies. Now, the castle belongs to the local government. The castle needs funds to renovate the places like ceilings and so on. The self-government collects money on crumbs from the various fans, from events and entrance tickets. As one of the tourists I met today said, this castle doesn't have such a golden glamour, but life is felt here. Here you are as if you came to visit the Baroness, came to visit the owners of the castle. The so-called Stamariana Saksha is stored in the castle. This is a specially beautiful woman's cape, mined from ancient graves of the region in 1898. Later, copies of the Saksha were made. One of them is stored in the castle, and one was ordered for the interior of the building of the Latvian representation at the United Nations in New York. The Stammerian barons von Wolf of German origin linked their careers with Tsarist Russia. Eduard von Wolf was the written master of the Imperial Guard, and his son Boris was the secretary of the cabinet of the daughter of Tsar Nicholas I, Grand Duchess Olga, and the Hofmeister of Tsar Nicholas II. The owners of Stamariana Castle, Barons von Wolf, married prominent women. Sofia Patomkina, the wife of Eduard von Wolf, was a maid of honor of the Russian Tsar, a princess, a close friend of the daughter of Tsar Nicholas I, Olga. Boris, the son of Eduard and Sofia, married the Italian violinist, composer and chamber singer Maria Teresa Alice Laura Barbie, whose performance skills were highly appreciated by the great composer Johannes Brahm. Their daughter Alexandra became a prominent psychoanalyst during her lifetime, moved to Italy at the beginning of World War II, and always kept Stammerin in her heart. Click like and subscribe to my channel. I speak about people living in this world without borders. Watch my videos, get positive emotions and enjoy your life. Your Sparklet